Welcome everybody. My name is François Letart and uh, this is my channel JDR D30. Today the subject is my top 5 role playing games. And finally, after my introduction video, I took the time to talk to you about uh, my top 5 games. Uh, well, there's no particular order in what I will show you. Uh, it's just five games that I really enjoy, that uh, that really uh, that I feel comfortable playing, uh, and uh, yeah, that, that that's it. So uh, I I love many many games, but these five are are really games that uh, yeah for me it's easy to play and uh, yeah the the game system really fits to me. So uh, well, let's begin. First game I will show you. Oh. Star Wars role playing game, the D6 version. Well, Star Wars, uh, uh, well, it, it was a big smash for me when I first read that. It was in 1987. Uh, and uh, yeah, when I read that, it was a kind of fresh air. Yeah, it, 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 it's a very light uh, system uh, that uh, reflects the, that re re that shows how uh, fast and furious Star Wars is. So uh, yeah, well when 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 I read that, uh, it was making complete sense. It's a unified system. Uh, throughout the years, I've played a lot of that and every version of the D6 system. Uh, yeah, my favorite is very the first book like that because uh, yeah, it's more simple. Uh, the other editions they added after that uh, added rules and it was a little less easy as a system. This one is was uh, quite perfect, and uh, that leads me to the D6 system. So the D6 system, uh, I did use it in many other settings. And uh, well, it's one of my all-time favorite. It's quite easy, and uh, well, I've played so much of the D6 system that I even don't need books anymore. Uh, you can come by my home and say we'd like to play in the, you know, say the setting, and uh, yeah, in, in about 15 minutes will be a game with characters ready to play in the D6 system, and I will not need the books because I know the system so much so uh, yeah it's it's quite easy it's kind of I'm very comfortable with the D6 system well that will be a game I will make some kind of a walkthrough sometimes or just for you another game that I did enjoy one of my top five Dungeons and Dragons third edition well that's 3.0. I really love 3.0. I never really followed the 3.5. Uh, I've bought the Pathfinder book because uh, this time around I'm a player in the Pathfinder campaign. But 3.0 for me it was okay. Yeah, I heard that it was unbalanced and many things. But you know, when, when I played it, it was Dungeons and Dragons, but a version where you can really customize your character in infinite ways. And the proof of that, it was the D20 system that were used in many, many kind of setting and many other... Yeah, it was quite an exciting time when it came out because it, it, there were so many different products. So, yeah, it, it, there was ID for everyone with that. It's quite my most crunch game I, I can stand. So I enjoyed 3.0. Sometimes I may... Uh, Come back with Dungeons and Dragons, uh, more with my opinion, but yeah, I consider this to be one of my top five games. The next one, Fudge. Strangely, I've never played Fudge. I've just read the book, but that book uh, gave me lots of inspiration to make games more lighter. Um, yeah, the lighter. Yeah, it's it's quite a big book, but that book it's not a, a, a rule book uh, as other games m may have rule books. It, it, it's a collection of articles on how you can interpret fudge. And uh, yeah, 
what I've learned with fudge is how to remove rules because more and more I want a story that flows I don't want to get rules in the way and fudge uh, really does that it's, it's, it's so much rules like that yeah there's no rules blocking a good story so I, I take ideas from there and uh, apply it to other systems I, I get inspiration from that maybe someday I will play fudge for real but right now it's just an inspirational book to any other game uh, fudge is something you can have uh, freely on the web on their website there's a free version of that yeah uh, I've bought it because I like to have real books the other one I don't have it uh, with me because uh, one of my friends uh, took it for to run this campaign so I will just show you the image right now it's basic role-playing from Chaosium uh, yeah it's one of my all-time favorite too it's a easy system to understand it's based on personal percentile you can do anything with that it, it's a game system that makes sense it's deadly uh, you, when you play BRP you have to be careful you have to think you have to, 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 to be uh, smart heroes and linked to that there's this game which is Call of Tulu uh, I don't own Call of Tulu uh, I've only been a player when it's one of my top 5 role-playing games role-playing game because uh, I had a great experience with uh, Call of Tulu it's uh, it's, it's kind of it's, it's kind of a creepy game and if you have the good game master to run it uh, well it's quite an experience you can have at all adventures even not knowing what's going on you see a lot of strange things your uh, character may run all around trying to find the truth and they may end up in prison uh, totally crazy uh, well he, he, but it's quite a, a fun game to play so the basic role playing and Call of Tulu is one of my favorites so uh, yeah so I will gladly play other basic role playing uh, based games sometimes the last game advanced fighting fantasy well uh, as as I'm making this video it's the game that I run these times I have a campaign in that it's uh, well uh, it was quite a revelation to me I've bought it at first by uh, by nostalgia uh, because this book is based on the fighting fantasy uh, books uh, you know the books where you choose your own path and the sorcery series and uh, having been well I, I've been a fan of that when I was a teenager and I've bought it just by nostalgia and I've discovered a very good game it's a that that game makes sense and uh, yeah they they, they, they the basic of the game is like in the book but they they've just added rules to make it you know a very versatile game where you can create any rules you want and uh, yeah the, the, that game just makes sense it's a very rules light with a big old school feel but uh, the, the, the the rules make sense uh, in comparison to many old school games sometimes where rules have to be you know uh, modified here if you want to modify a rule it's really easy because it's a it's an easy game it's a perfect game for beginners and uh, for someone like me who've been playing for many years uh, we, I, I really find something interesting it uh, it has a lot to offer and uh, yeah you i will have a walkthrough for you of this game just to share it and um, making may maybe reviews of the the, the 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 other books that comes for uh, this game so you will hear again from me about uh, fighting fantasy advanced fighting fantasy that's second edition by the way so it was well kind of my 
five games that I prefer. I hope you've enjoyed my video. So uh, up to next time. Enjoy your game. So my name is François Lothar. It was JDR D30.